Hello, Dr. Heidi Klein, um, your chiropractor here. And we are going to go through um, a series to help your neck and upper back feel better. Um, so find a comfortable place um, on the floor or seated in a chair. And what we're going to start with is some shoulder rolls. And what I want you to do is bring your arms by your sides and you're gonna make that movement like a choo-choo. So you'll go forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. And while you do this, keep your spine long. Keep your abdominal muscles activated. So we'll do an inhale as we come up, out the mouth as we exhale. Inhale as we come up, out the mouth. A lot of neck tightness leads to jaw tightness too. So we'll close the mouth as you inhale, open as you exhale. One more. Good. We'll work on opening the front muscles of the body, and then we'll work on contracting the front muscles of the body, which will stretch the muscles of the back body. So bring your hands together, and you'll open here. And you can look up, and then you'll contract. Tuck your chin, breathe your air out through your back body. Inhale, open. Look up. Exhale, curl. Breathe out, tuck your chin. Inhale, open. Lift your heart, lift your chin. Maybe jet your chin. Exhale, curl, elbows together, shoulder blades widening, tuck your chin, exhale, out the back body. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, curl. And back to center. Wonderful. We will move into the lateral side body and that will get from the neck out the arm. And we'll also get the muscles that attach from the arm to the spine. So you'll plant your hand or place it on um, the edge of the chair where you are and you'll inhale, exhale. And your palm is towards the floor. So you'll see the top of my hand there. Open the ribs towards the ceiling Breathe here a couple breaths. Back to center, arm goes down, extra breath here. Inhale, lift the other arm. Exhale, turn your ribs, reach with your fingertips. Breathe into your rib cage on the right. Keep your spine in a nice arc. Don't drop your head down or keep it towards your arm. Keep your hand reaching. Open the side body. Breathe. That expands the rib cage from the inside. And back to center on the inhale. Extra breath. We'll do that same thing again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side bend. Palm is towards the floor. And feel that through the whole side body. Don't worry about how far it is. Just breathe into that, lengthen. Using the breath, expand. Just the rib cage open instead of being 
across the floor, open towards the side, back to center. One more on the other side. You're doing great. Keep going. Reach, reach, breathe. And back to center. Excellent. We will rotate. Um, so first let's just do the head. Turn your head to the right. And center. Turn your head to the left. And center. One more each side. Good. And then we'll add the upper body with it. So we'll turn your head. Really look over that back shoulder. Breathe here. Back to center, turn your head, other side. Breathe here. Back to center, and we'll do that again. Twist right or left, depending on how the camera is. I'm not sure. To center, other side. and to center. Okay, for this next one, um, we're gonna help open up the upper back. Um, you can use a smooth foam roll, or you can use a towel. Um, you could perhaps use a yoga mat that's rolled up. So I'm gonna get a foam roller. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what my foam roller looks like. Three feet long, um, looks like a half foot thing. And what I like to do to open up the upper back is to sit and then roll down, make sure I stay in the frame. And then I cross my arms and I roll on that thoracic spine. Let's see how I lift the hips to keep that Dun, 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 dun. Pliable. You want to keep your head to center. Feels really good. If you don't have one of these, you can put your rolled up towel um, on the ground and you lay so you feel that against your vertebra and then you would lay there for a little bit and then move your body down. You can also do um, what's called a moving bridge where you lay on your back and you, as you inhale, lift your arms up over your head and this massages your upper back. And it helps mobilize each of the spinal segments as you fulcrum over those that space. So right now the pressure as I lift is in my lower thoracic spine and as I raise the hips and the arms, that pressure moves up the thoracic spine. So that's movement in the back body. Um, and then we will do one more, which is uh, roll over onto your stomach and you can Draw, bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Bring your hands face down on your mat or floor. And as you traction your elbows towards your hips, you draw your chest forward. And that helps to open up the front body. So that is the next in our sequence. Um, let's see, how much time are we at? almost 10 minutes. Okay, so last thing we'll do is stretching in the wing, laying down on your floor, bring your arm out to the side, palm down, and twist open onto that side, opening the front body. Breathe here. And 
and then change sides. Now, if any of these feel really good, you can do them for longer. And if they feel uh, like they do not serve and they feel painful, please don't do them. Back to center. Um, I guess the last thing for strengthening my favorite is plank. This is for the full whole body, chest, upper back. So you could do on your knees or you can do full plank lifted. That's an option. Um, and then if you wanted to move into cross crawl where you're lifting your bring that down and then your left arm, right leg, thumb towards the ceiling. See, thumb is important. Um, head's not down or up um, and then back to center. Um, if you have any questions, um, specific things that are bothering you, please email me, HeidiKleinDC at gmail.com. That's H-E-I-D-I-K-L-I-N-E-D-C at gmail.com. I'm here to help you through this time, here to give you um, what's up here and in here to help you as best as possible. Um, the office is open. I'm sanitizing between every patient. Um, and uh, we're doing the best we can to get through this time. And um, from my office to you, helping you to release the upper back uh, and neck and some strengthening. Um, next video I'm going to do will be uh, lower body, lower back and hips. Um, so if you have a request, send it in and I will be glad to help you, um, especially with your specific bodies. Um, uh, we can specify. So anyway, Dr. Klein, keep your spine in line.